Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with the first lap of the Monaco Grand Prix, which to sum up was pretty chaotic and in turn meant the race was red flagged. I think there were a total of three separate incidents, one of which saw Carlos Sainz get a puncture. This happened due to some slight contact with Oscar Piastri in the first corner and it was really unlucky for Sainz I think. Like the contact was so minor, yet he suffered greatly for it. In the end it didn't matter, since at the restart, Sainz was able to start third again due to the timing of the red flag. And personally I put that down to a racing incident, but then also on the first lap, there was also an incident between the two Alpines. Basically they were going side by side just before the tunnel after Esteban Ocon sent it down the inside at Portier, but the two came together and Ocon got sent flying into the air. Now in my view this was more of Ocon's fault, since I think Gasly was leaving room, and Ocon got a 10 second penalty, which has been converted to a 5 place grid penalty since the crash left Ocon out of the race. Now following this, Ocon said on X, Today's incident was my fault, the gap was too small in the end and I apologise to the team on this one, hoping for a deserved points finish for the team today. But Ocon could be in trouble with Alpine team principal Bruno Firmin, with him having some harsh words for Ocon and warning of a tough decision. He told a French TV channel, It's sad to see this kind of incident, it's exactly what we didn't want to see. Esteban's attack was totally out of circumstances, it was exactly what we didn't want to see and we're going to draw the consequences, we're going to make a tough decision. So it'll be interesting to see what will happen there, I mean with a tough decision set to be made, could he be dropped? Who knows, but the biggest incident on that one involved the two Haskars and Sergio Perez. Now as they were heading up the hill following turn 1, Kevin Magnussen attempted to go up the inside of the Red Bull on the way up the hill, but with space running out, the pair made contact and it caused a huge crash between them. And Nico Hulkenberg was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, with him also being caught up in the incident. So a massive crash there, and it really wrecked Paris's car. Personally, I think Magnussen should have backed off, as the racing line sees you move left to right between the barriers, and as Sergio was on the line, Magnussen was driving into a disappearing gap, I think. Now the stewards have reviewed the first lap incident, and decided that no further investigation is required. So although Magnussen is on the verge of a race ban with 10 penalty points on his super license, he will not face an automatic ban for the next race in Canada, but Magnussen felt Perez was to blame for this. He said, I trusted that he was going to leave the space for me since I was there, and it's not a corner you're breaking into, it's just a little bend on the straight. You have to have a car width, or you leave the guy with no option. It's unfortunate. It's a lot of cost to the team and a lot of work for the guys and a missed opportunity, but from my view, I was there and was squeezed into the wall. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care. Bye.